Good evening and welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. I'm Megan Skaggs. Big news in the Lexington mayoral race. Vice Mayor Jim Gray has told the Lexington Herald leader he's a candidate. Gray ran for mayor in 2002. He ran for council at large in 2006 and won the most votes, making him vice mayor. Well, he's been sharply critical of the Centerpoint project, which still hasn't started downtown. So here's how the race now stacks up. Incumbent Mayor Jim Newberry is running again. Gray is in. Former Mayor Teresa Isaac is running, along with political newcomer Eric Patrick Marr. The top two finishers in next May's primary will move on to the November election. Police say a patient killed a doctor in Perry County today. Police say John Combs had an appointment at the Leatherwood Blackie Medical Clinic. According to police, he came back later and shot Dr. Dennis Sandlin. These are photographs from the scene. Now, police are not releasing much information. Combs is now in jail in Perry County. Fire destroyed a Bath County business. Owingsville Outlet was a consignment shop. Five fire stations responded to last night's fire. Many people say they have fond memories of this business. My granddaughter's 14, Paige, and she left to go shopping and go in there and find stuff, and she'd come back, Mama, I need some money. The fire department says this fire started in the basement. No one was hurt. A middle school worker is accused of giving drugs and alcohol to minors. ABC 36's Kate Slattery has the story from Estill County. An Estill County School Resource Officer arrested Tiffany Jones at her home Tuesday morning. The deputy says Jones gave two minors marijuana and alcohol at her home Friday night. I think the first that our superintendent heard about it was uh, yesterday morning, Monday morning. A warrant was issued and Jones was charged with two counts of unlawful transaction with a minor in the second degree. Jones works as a part-time secretary and lunch clerk at Estill County Middle School. She would be our cashier. At our, at our lunchroom uh, during breakfast and lunchroom times. It's unclear at this time whether the two minors were students. Estill County School Board has since placed her on paid suspension, pending the outcome of the investigation. Yeah, this would be something that we'd be very much unexpected and uh, unsure of, and I think that's why you don't, uh, you don't ever make judgments, pass judgments, until you know the answer. Some Estill County middle school parents think Jones should be fired. Oh, I don't think she'd need to be in there. I think they'll get her out of there. Kate Slattery, ABC 36 your local news source. Jones is in jail in Esto County. Now, this is a felony. If convicted, she could get five years in prison. She is on paid suspension right now as police investigate. That's going to do it for this ABC 36 News Update. You can always get the latest news, weather, and sports on our website. The address is WTVQ.com.